Hi everyone, Jeff here again for VIP Vision. Now there's a number of situations where you may want to uh, return your recorder back to the way it was when it was first shipped, so factory default the unit. Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. One is by going through the web interface of the recorder. Um, the second one though, which is the more common, is by going through the user interface of the recorder directly with a mouse plugged in and a mouse and monitor plugged directly into the recorder itself, and that's the way that I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm going to flick across now to a recorder. Now this is a VIP Vision NVR8 Pro 6. However, what I'm going to show you here applies to the entire VIP Vision range with minimal differences. So I'm going to right click first up and select main menu. It's going to prompt me to enter my username and password or my pattern password. So in this case, I'm just going to enter my pattern password. Great, so now what we need to do is, so we've got operation, info and setting. We need to go from setting, we need to go to system. And from here, it's probably going to bring you in on the general page. What we need to do is actually select default. And from default here, so we've got a few different options that we can, we can do here. Either we can, we can default the camera settings, network settings, event settings, storage settings, system settings, all of the settings there themselves, or we can factory reset the machine. Now, the difference between all and factory reset is that all is only going to delete everything listed here, so camera, network, event, storage, and system, it's not going to delete your usernames and passwords, um, which may be, you know, something that you, you want to keep or possibly delete. Um, factory reset will copy everything out the same way that it was exactly as it left the factory, whereas this will just revert most of the things back to the way that the, they left the factory. If you're troubleshooting, I suggest that you actually use factory reset instead. However, keep in mind, like I said, you're going to have to go through all of your password reset password setup stuff again, including your password reset questions and email addresses. Um, so that may take slightly longer than, for instance, just maybe de defaulting the camera settings if you're having issues with, with cameras or possibly network, etc. So in this video though, I'm just going to show you a factory reset. So all I have to do is click this button here. Now it's going to say system is going to restore factory default setup. All customized setup will be lost. Are you sure you want to continue now? So if I wanted to get out, click no, but I'm going to be selecting yes. Okay, so now that's factory defaulting and it's going to reboot. It's going to reboot and come back um, in a number of moments. Like I said before, what we're going to have to do once it comes back up is it's, it's going to basically throw us back up into the device initialization wizard. So like I said, you're going to have to set up your usernames and passwords again, along with your uh, username and password questions, our networking settings, our camera settings, basically as I said, everything as if it were a brand new recorder out of the box. So I'll just flick back across to that now while we wait. So it'll take uh, somewhere in the order of about, about a minute or so before this completes. Um, it's, not going to, it's not going to raise any of your recordings on the unit itself. All of your recordings will stay there. Um, so if you're looking to um, not only factory default, but also clear all of the recordings out, of the uh, the device you're going to also have to format your just we'll just leave that for there at there for now um and i'll show you in another video how to actually default the or how to remove all, all recordings from the unit by formatting the hard drive so i hope this video has been helpful um, if you've got any any questions about this video feel free to leave them below if this was useful to you please click the like button on this video uh, if it was not useful feel free to click the dislike button um, if these videos are useful to you in general and you'd like to see more of them, please subscribe um, and make sure you hit that little bell icon so that you're notified every time we send you a new video. Anyway, thanks for watching.